All right, so uh, the midpoint formula, we got an x1 plus an x2. If we divide that by 2, then it gives us the midway point for the x's. We'll do the same thing for the y's and divide that by 2 as well. So I'm going to say that the square root of 8 and the negative square root of 12, that's my 1 values. So I'm going to replace x1 with the square root of 8 and the y1 with the negative square root of 12. Now these look pretty bad right now. We'll see if we can simplify these. Uh, x2 I will replace with what I call my x2. 3 root 2. And this will be my y2 which is 7 square root of 3. Now looking at these we may not we may think that they can't be combined, but they can if we simplify the square root of 8 and the square root of the negative square root of 12. So what does that give us? Uh, just have the 2, this will be plus 3 square, what the heck? 3 square root of 2. And then over here is the same thing. Uh, the reason I'm showing this is because we can't simplify our second point there. But well, we can simplify the square root of 8, which is the same as 2 times 2 times 2. Well, there's a pair of 2's, which is 2 times the square root of 2. So the square root of 8 is 2 times the square root of 2. This shows that we can combine those two in the numerator there. And same with the negative square root of 12 would simplify to the negative square root of 2 times 2 times 3. So there's a pair of 2's, yeah, which leaves us with negative 2 times the square root of 3. So negative 2 times the square root of 3. And yes, these are being separated with a comma. So when we look at this one, we got the square root of, what the heck, square root of 2. But I've got 2 plus 3, which is 5. And this is all over 2. And then for the y values... I got negative 2 plus 7, which is also 5, times I got, I put 2 there, I meant 3, thank you. This is a 3 as well, and we divided this by 2. That's as far as we can simplify this thing. So that would be our midpoint.